Do you want to stop the universalists who are in cahoots with the globalists, the cultural Marxists, and the social communists from winning the culture war? Then take action today! Every super chat will help fight the battle in the never-ending culture war against those who want to take over our entertainment! That's why you need to like, subscribe, send thanks, and super chat! Mecha Random 42! Do you want the universalists to win? Of course you don't! So donate today! Ah! We're in the middle of a game stream, and we had an article I wanted to talk about because I like it when people I like have brains still. <laughs> you know, just despite being a little, I don't know, tribally stuff, I mean, he's at least saying, hey, the woke shit, no. We pulled out of a Cambridge event, John Cleese, comedy legend. This is for me! The man himself, Basil Fawlty, you know him from Monty Python, you know him from everything any any comedy under the sun that has been good and influential there you go there you go he withdrew from an event at the cambridge union saying he was blacklisting himself before someone else does because that's really how you got to do it right you really want to pull yourself away from the the wokey wokes or even some of the anti-wokey wokes who are pretty much wokier than thou's themselves they have their little invisible set of rules and they all follow the same thing a little bit of wah wah, a little bit of me, me. He removed himself, the move by the Monty Python and Faulty Tower star was in protest after the debating society banned art critic Andrew Graham Dixon for impersonating old Adolf. Old Ad well, Taika Waititi did. Taika Waititi impersonated old Adolf. Prince Harry went around in a uniform of Adolf's guys. You know, how half of the country's running around pretending to be that by, by forcing all these paper please sort of things So in our, in our neck of the woods. But no, but no, you can't impersonate the guy, I suppose. Sure, why not? Maybe, maybe if he put him in blackface, would that be more or less offensive? Or just race swap? Can we race swap the guy with a little mustache? Can we do that? Because, I mean, they did to Anne Boleyn. Why not? Just recast him. Cleese had been in Purdue to address the union on Friday, but with Drew saying he had also impersonated, you know who, in Monty Python sketch. Yeah, he has, he said on Twitter. I was looking forward to talking to Stugart and said the Cambridge Unis Union this Friday, but I hear that someone there has been blacklisted for doing an impersonation of you know who. Well, they should probably ban Thor Love and Thunder too, because Taika Waititi, I mean, he did a whole movie, Jojo Rabbit, dressed as the guy, where he played the guy. I mean, he did a whole movie of him. I regret that I did the same on the Monty Python show, so I am blacklisting myself before someone else does. I apologize to anyone at Cambridge who is hoping to talk with me. Perhaps you can find a venue where woke, woke rules do not apply. <sighs> Thank you for being reasonable. Thank you. Because we're, we're so tired of, of being called, you know, and assumed. I mean, I titled this stream, if you guys want to know. We titled this one. Tri I triggered leftist and right wingers because I always do. And of course we are, because uh, that's part of this, a part of this, because I get triggered by both sides of the tribal ring. Because being against woke stuff is not a right wing thing, necessarily, right? It's not necessarily a thing. It's a logic and reason sort of thing. And I'm tired of everybody labeling people who are anti-woke as just being a certain political affiliation. Because sometimes we just don't like playing by zealous rules. We don't want to follow a religion. We don't want to follow some theory or practice. We don't want to follow these critically racially driven motives that say that white people are superior because I don't think we are. Sorry. Sorry, critical race theorists who think that whites are superior because that's what you basically are telling me. You're telling me that that's what that is. So... <laughs> Maybe I'm being a smart Alec. I don't know, but we all know what happened to Alec. According to reports, Cleese was visiting Cambridge as part of a documentary he's making on woke culture. And their union president, Kerry Bradwell, said it was a huge shame that Cleese felt he was no longer, could no longer attend the event. We were really looking forward to hosting John here. Well, maybe don't have those sort of rules. And I know it's really probably just promoting his documentary that he's doing on the woke stuff. But, you know, yeah. 
Fellow common sense. Follow common sense. Fellows who follow common sense are the best fellows in the fellowships of the fellows. I don't know. Graham Dixon's impersonation and remarks came during a debate last week on the motion. The House believes there's no such thing as good taste in a statement. The art historian said it was not his intent to upset people, but to persuade his audience that bad taste and bad morality often go hand in hand. He added, I apologize sincerely. I don't anymore. If you're offended, I don't even care. If you get offended by what I say, you know what, I'm going to trigger you ten times over. And I'm not going to walk on eggshells because if you're dealing with an, an audience or a spouse or a partner or anybody or in a political affiliation where you have to walk on eggshells, that's the type of thing where you call a shelter to get your ass out of there because you're, it's not in your best interest to have to walk on eggshells and to feel like you are going to be emotionally triggering the fragile wokier than thou's out there. I don't want to live in a society like that and I think they need to go. I think they need to go away. They need to go and find their own colony somewhere to go and have their little religious wokier than thou witch hunts and freedoms. <laughs> Because, you know, I thought we evolved past that. I really did. He rejected the implication that I'm a racist and anti-Semitic. That speech I gave was a strident attack on his isms and antis. He added, and I already read that part, in a letter posted on Facebook, so yada yada. Bradwell said the remarks made by Graham Dixon were thoughtless and grotesque. I, I wonder if this is one of the cases where we've been seeing where the older comedians are just kind of allowed to say stuff, but the newer comedians and the newer people are not. If you do it now, you're not going to be allowed to continue. And whereas John Cleese, well, he did his way back when in the Monty Python days, so. Terry Gilliam's great too. Terry, oh, speaking of Monty Python alum, speaking of, speaking of Monty Python alum who are anti-cancel culture, Terry Gilliam, I'm encouraging all of you to watch Dave Chappelle's new show, The Closer, on Netflix. To me, he's the greatest stand-up com comedian alive today. Incredibly intelligent, socially aware, dangerously provocative, and gut-wrenchingly funny. There's a storm brewing over Netflix's support for the show. I'd love to hear your opinions. That is what I like about Terry Gilliam. He's basically saying exactly what I think we need to say. You know, you want to watch it and, and hear and understand why people are triggered. Because when people get triggered over by what they're imagining and what they're projecting and what they assume, you know, that's kind of more dangerous, I think, than, uh, than, than not watching it at all. Watch stuff or not. Why do we need governments and Netflix and everything to say if we're grown up enough to be offended or not? I can decide. I'm a grown adult. I can decide if I want to be offended or not. And we have the tools and the means to take responsibility and hold people accountable. Maybe if they'd stop, I don't know, legalizing crime and shit, we wouldn't have so much of it. But there you go. I am Mecca and I'm going back to my live chat. Don't you go anywhere. Thanks for watching! If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button, and if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe! See you in the next video! Bye!